It's that type of day or video where I'm gonna be reviewing your Reddit logo design or design submissions. If you don't know, this is episode two of me checking out your submissions from my subreddit, which is linked down below. So if you would like to submit your work onto this Reddit, you can do, click the links down below. But also I've got a Discord channel that you guys can come to as a community. And when you're a member, you get certain perks of inside the Discord channel, such as different rooms and different like voice channels that you can go on to, to chat with me, which you can join down below as well, if you would like. And just before we get into it, I just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Go Visually. Go Visually is an online platform to help designers and organizations manage design feedback and revisions with simple visual collaboration tools. If you're a designer that works in-house or a freelancer that needs to get quick feedback in an easy way without just sharing and exporting a load of images, then Go Visually is for you. You can track all previous design decisions and get approved and signed off your design designs straight from Go Visually. So if you have a client that wants to approve a design or to revise something or something needs changed, they can quickly comment on a certain part of the design that you've put on there very visually and give you that comment so you can change it and then they can approve it once the change has been made. For more information about Go Visually and to go ahead and use it and try it for yourself, click the link down below in the description. Okay, so this is my subreddit here. Last time we did this, we did it purely on the basis of just checking different subreddits on here. But we have linked mine, so you can post whatever you want on here to do a design. So here we go. This is someone who's just posted this print on demand logo. I'm not going to read all of that, but I'm going to have a look at it. So Honoro prints. This design here, the, the actual icon, there's one thing that I would definitely change about it. And that is this part down here. It does not match up to the H there. And this looks more like a monogram. I like the colors kind of, maybe you need to boost the saturation because these colors are kind of the same that I used in a very vintage project. And if that's what you're going for, then great. But you know, you might want to change it to be a bit more saturated and more modern as nowadays people are going for a more modern look to their logos. Also the way that you presented the logo, the icon is way too big. You want it to be smaller and in the same thickness as the typography that you've got there and the reason being for that is that it just feels out of place and feels like it's towering over it so maybe scale the icon down to be more in line with the typography down here overall very clever monogram looks very nice uh, i think it should fit into a perfect square though so if you can do that then you've got points from me beauty logo please rate and comment and this is from own ad 2187 so this one is more of an illustration. This ain't a logo, to be honest with you. And something that I would love to see is a bit more alignment. By that, Zoa Beauty is kind of like not in the middle and it feels very off-centered. And if that's what you were going for, then kudos to you. But what I would suggest to do is maybe center that logo and keep it, you know, keep it simpler. There's a huge divide between logo design and illustration. Illustration is more of an art piece. Logo design is about identifying a company. Now this logo isn't technically a logo. I would suggest or argue even that this is probably more of an illustration. So simplify it down. Don't use too many colors. You've got too much detail in these lines here for the hair. Although I do get it and it looks nice as an illustration or a poster design make sure you simplify that down and center everything make sure everything is in perfect centerpiece you can see here how the icon is like way to the right as well when i click on it so i mean you've got a cool idea there maybe just keeping this part in the middle as a logo would work rhino mark by algendi 22 I think that's how you say your name. Again, there's no context on this, so I'm just going to have a look at it. I mean, the mark looks really cool. It would work as a logo, that, but what you would have to do is you see, if I can zoom in here, you see this part of the rhino's face. It kind of looks like a dog <laughs> or like a, a, an angry bear. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're going for an angry bear dog thing, then it would work well for you. But something that I would keep in mind is these lines here. You want to get rid of this line intersecting the horn to give the illusion that the horn isn't just something sticking from behind it. Overall though, the composition of it looks really good and for some reason, it's actually reminded me of the Tesla Cybertruck. 
Have you ever seen the Tesla Cybertruck? That looks way too familiar to that. Maybe that's a new Tesla car. Overall, I'll give you an award for that, a, a, a miniature one. Faith in humanity is restored. I'll give you that. So the next one is from DV0299. A logo design animation I made for a healthy lifestyle Instagram page. More explanation here. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. I like that. Whoa. So one thing about the logo is that it's way too detailed. You can make it even simpler than that by just getting rid of all those leaves. I do love the animation. Though. It's It's got a lot of easingness, but the last part of this animation, from what I could tell, if I was like the art director of this, that part there where it comes out, it's hard to see on the video, but that part where it all comes out, it doesn't ease out. So when you're doing it, it's important to make sure that it's not just an abrupt stop on the outwards part of it. The next one is from Enzra Trilio. I don't know how to say that name again, I apologize. In Sicily, we have a saying, which almost sounds like this. The shoemaker always walks with the broken shoes. It is also my case, of course. Okay, I can't read all of that. You're gonna have to give me a shorter explanation. But here we go, logo design evolution, let's look at this. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I really like the type down there. Is that a font or is it hand drawn? Because that is really nice. The only issue I have is with the N. The N there needs to be rounded like the E. It needs to be the same. Otherwise it looks kind of a bit out of place. And that could just be my designer eye looking at that, but there you go. Another point of reference is the O's. They're not tracked correctly. And the I is a bit too small. It doesn't come under the X height or the ascender height of the capitals here. So increase the height of the I and decrease the kerning of the O to the L. The O's need to be kerned kind of tightly across the board, even if you're tracking them widely. The icon though looks really cool. It looks like a pirate icon. Um, and I think this is a rebrand. I haven't checked you out before or seen the context of it because it would take way too long, but I like the look of it. We've got social covers. Ooh. And me, have I ever experienced this desire for renewal in your visual identity and in your profession? Yeah, I have, but it's very hard for me to redesign my own logo because it's like, it'd be full of ego. Overall, dude, I really like your logo. Well done. Fat, an energy drink company with an 80s aesthetic. Dude, I really like this. I love the 80s aesthetic as well. It's hard to read, but it's got really cool, unique identifiers in there. And I use that word carefully because unique identifiers generally mean that the that it's something in the logo is unique to that, so it makes it easier to identify. Kind of like when you've met a really weird person that you can't forget. Overall, I like the look of it, and I think it looks nice, and I like the fact that it isn't just coming centred, it has a bit more of a movement to it through the composition, and the colours, the electro colours are nice. Something that you could try there is electro green or a really saturated teal to give that sort of glowing look oh wow okay a little animation that i use using cinema 4d this is insane cinema 4d is really fun dude there's a lot of camera wobble on there i think you could got get rid of a lot of that camera wobble i'll be honest but what i do like is the shoes they're very minimal but very bright and neon i'd like to know a bit more about this but dude i really love the look of that that's insane. A 3D environment and animation I made for social media influencer Gully Gully Leo. Oh, cool. Dude, that's awesome. I reckon he would be very happy with that. That looks amazing. Well done, dude. I really love the look of that. Let's see what happens. Let's scroll through it a bit more. So it's basically the same thing going over and over again, but that's really nice. I'm gonna give you an award. I'm going to approve. I'm gonna set the Reddit so I don't have to approve every post. I don't know why it's set like that. I made the subreddit ages ago so i'll fix it up for you so it's like more of a hub but here's 500 gold coins for that so cap cafe logo logo i made recently for a crowd sourcing contest and this was created by michael pertergak i can't pronounce your name i'm so sorry it will be linked it's called cap cafe and it's a combination of words capca which means drop and cafe which i hope i don't have to explain well dude Funnily enough, this is probably the coolest coffee branding I've seen in a while. It's very minimal, but the, the K on there is very professional. And I love the pattern that you've got going there. You haven't made the water drop look anything like an eco business, which is very hard to do. I'm going to definitely give you an award for this. 500. And I'm going to approve it. I don't know why I have to keep approving 
everything on here. I will fix the subreddit. I will fix it. So make sure you keep posting to it. There are way too many logos on this. So here's a logo for a startup salon. I like the look of this. I think there's a way too much going on in the typography. Get something a lot cleaner. I like the type that you use below it. The problem is, is that it's more of an illustrative logo, which is good on a high street. And I don't mind them on high streets where they've got a bit more space to have that logo to brand it. Something that I would suggest is those, uh, it shouldn't be too vintage. You haven't given me too much context, so it's very hard to do, but it should definitely not be a vintage design. You want it to be clean cut. And I love the actual illustration here. It looks very good and very balanced. Sunset in Miata, that looks like a really nice picture actually. Ooh, check that out. Look at that. I'm guessing that's an illustrator file right there. Oh, I can see a little bit of a, a mistake there, but honestly, you've got the highlights on there so nicely you, it feels like you've got the shadows and the highlights everything so perfect on there what would be cool though is if you could come up with one like an actual new design of a crazy car and post it that would be awesome if you'd like to post some designs that are funny or ones that you've done put it on the reddit the links down below is free to put it on there i'm going to be trying to do this sort of video as a series of videos until you guys don't want it anymore but if you would like to have some gold coins from reddit then make sure you post your work on there and i will sort it out so it's more of a hub if you would like more of a hub and a place to come and chat and just be yourselves in a community of people like me and other designers there is a discord link in the description below where you can come and join it's called creative insiders where we basically just help each other look at new videos and chat and it's basically my discord if you're a member of my channel and you've joined you can link youtube with discord and it will automatically put you in a role of what you have joined in the discord which is great a big shout out to go visually who are sponsoring this video make sure you click that link down below to work out how to be more effective and efficient in your design process especially if you're in-house or as a freelance designer who needs their work signed off approved and revised very quickly and efficiently thanks for watching guys remember to subscribe for the next video which will be coming out next week and i'll see you soon goodbye